power stations in Britain are burning 40 million tons of coal a year, and this demand is rapidly increasing. It is vital to the nation, with its limited coal resources, to obtain the maximum power from every tonne of coal. One of the most important steps in achieving this has been the development by B&W of the cyclone furnace for the firing of large boilers. The cyclone is, in effect, a giant cylindrical burner in which crushed coal, borne by a swirling stream of air, is burnt at a very high temperature, the resultant hot gases passing into the boiler. The temperature is high enough to melt the ash which flows out of the furnace into a water-filled tank in which it is quenched to an easily removable granular slag that is a useful by-product. The construction of a cyclone furnace involves great skill and accuracy in bending, fitting and welding together its complex system of water tubes. Each cyclone is built at the Renfrew Works as a complete unit. On site, it is fitted over a circular opening or throat in the boiler wall. There may be a number of cyclones to a boiler, depending on its size. Behind this story of design and development of the cyclone lies a continuous program of research and testing at the B&W Renfrew Laboratories to determine the characteristics of many different coals and their suitability for cyclone firing. This program includes tests under full-scale conditions in a cyclone installed at Renfrew Works and in experimental pilot scale units in the research laboratories. Despite rapid developments in the field of atomic energy, coal will be, for many years to come, a major source of power, and the cyclone furnace has an important part to play in making the most efficient use of the world's coal resources.